All right, guys, here we are. We are on the home stretch of our shapely calculation. This is really where all the magic, well, I'd say this is where all the magic happens, but really it was every step up to this point that got us here. But where are we at? Where we're at right now is we've generated one row for each combination of this um, set, right? One row for each combination. Then we generated one row for each stage of this game. So if I have six combinations, each combination has three stages, that's 18 rows. Cool. Then we had to translate um, this stage into the coalition so that we could look up the coalition value. And now I know the coalition value. And I'm trying to calculate the marginal contribution each coalition adds to the game. Oof. The marginal contribution is just the current coalition value minus the previous coalition value, and that's how much we add it. All right, let's do it. We are here. For my one coalition, I've got, sorry, for my one game, I've got three stages, four stages, because this is, oops. How many? Oh, they're not in order. Let's do an order by coalition number and then by play order. That'll help us. Okay. So for this coalition, it's got four stages, which is why I've got four rows. And now I've got each of the play stages. In order to look up the coalition, the coalition value of paid search online display, I had to sort it into alphabetical order and then look up that coalition in my master list, which is where we came up with the number seven. Cool. Now all we have to do is subtract the marginal value. I've taken the liberty of limiting my... Uh, set to the coalition to this one paid search online uh, Instagram Facebook and Instagram Facebook. We're just going to look at these guys. So, do do do, where are we? Paid search on its own does very well. Paid search, coalition value 74. Um, previous, we're at the start of the game, so there was no previous conversion, and 74 minus 0 tells me that on its own, paid search contributed 74 points. Fantastic. Now, the coalition of paid search online display only has seven conversions. So when online display plays, I go from having 74 conversions down to seven. How much, how negatively did online display impact me? Well, seven minus 74 is negative 67. Online display had a hugely negative impact on this game. So I now have seven conversions. Instagram played. Well, the coalition, the team, paid search, online display, and Instagram have a total of one conversion. Previously, I had seven. Now I'm down to one. Instagram had a minus six conversion impact. It's having a detrimental effect on my conversion rate. Oof, this is terrible. Facebook plays. Facebook, this coalition is worth two conversions. So I previously had one conversion, now I've got two. So the marginal value add is one. Yay, Facebook, finally helping bring us back up. Remember at the very beginning, we were talking about the difference between sets um, being ordered or not, and we were saying, well, if, if, if you, uh, never mind, disregard, we're going to just keep on going. All right, Instagram, Facebook, very short chain, right, on its own, Instagram gives me 14 conversions. That's okay. There's, previously, it didn't have any conversions, right, because it's the start of a new play, so its contribution was 14. Facebook comes along, 
and contributes, or sorry, Facebook comes along and the coalition, that team, gets 33 points. How much did Facebook add? 33 minus 14 is 19. This is quote unquote normal, right? That's what we expect. We expect each additional player to add value. But what we're seeing here is sometimes these teams don't work super well, or for whatever reason, Instagram and, and online display are actually detrimental to my sales. And that could tell me something that could tell me, hey, you know what, maybe the quality of those ads aren't too great. Or maybe people who see my ads on uh, Instagram, for whatever reason, get turned off. Who knows? Anyway, in terms of how did we implement the code, um, all we did is what we did at the start, which is we created a variable, previous conversion, and coalition number, which we then used the cross apply to apply to every row of my data set. Then we come through and we calculate what is the logic for previous conversion. If the coalition number variable is the same as the current row, then keep my previous conversion variable. Otherwise, set uh, return the value zero. Notice here I don't have any colon equals, so I'm not assigning a value to any of my variables in this case statement. Same thing down here. I, um, I'm trying to show calculate my contribution, and contribution is the place stage conversions minus the previous conversion. I don't like that I have to repeat my logic if coalition number is equal to coalition number, um, but I'll be honest, I was having problems with um, variable assignment. So I just went nice, clean, and easy. Down at the bottom, I say previous conversion is equal to play stage conversion of my current row. Then on the next row, it'll be the previous row, right? And then I'm just using that underscore to identify them. Nice, easy, and clean, um, but unnecessarily verbose here in my case statement. Because I'm using that underscore, I'm going to drop columns, previous conversion co and coalition number. They're no longer necessary. Um, and now I can calculate the average contribution. I'm at this stage here. I know Facebook contributed seven, seven, three, ten, nine for each game. So across this set, uh, which I'm calling series ordered, across this set, I want to calculate your average marginal contribution. So we're taking my average contribution across series ordered for that player. Super easy math. And then I get my outcome. Just eyeballing really quickly because Facebook, Instagram just is there floating right at the top. I can see for this for this team up, for this team, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook's Facebook's Facebook on average brought in 35 points. And on average, Instagram brought me down two points for a total conversion of 33. As I look at my next lineup, Facebook, Instagram, and online display, on average, Facebook brought in 17 points. Instagram lost three and a half conversions. Um, online display lost 12 and a half conversions. The sum of that 17 minus 3.5 minus 12.5 is one. It's telling me that, hey, Facebook is really strong, but for whatever reason, my online display and Instagram are really reducing my conversion rate. And that, friends, takes us to the end of the code, right? We just output the results. And so then I can see here my Shapely values, as we've been seeing all along, online display and Instagram are just really killing my conversions. They're negative. Um, I should probably stop them or just redo all of those ads because they're causing me to lose customers or lose conversions. And that was a shapely value. Guys, what an epic, epic set of tutorials. Thanks for sticking around with me. My name is Jay Wilson. I'm a freelance consultant through my company, Onyx Reporting. If this is the kind of stuff you're interested in, how do I implement this like data science-y type
project that I read about? How can I actually put that into understandable and relatable terms in Domo and put that through some sort of a data pipeline? That's the kind of stuff that I build. Yeah, you can build custom apps. Yes, you can buy software that does this for you. Um, but when you can actually explain it in plain English, in plain Excel, I think that's really where you start getting some value and buy-in from your um, stakeholders. If you need to make it more robust and do more amazing and sophisticated things, and of course, use those software and tools. But this is always a great starting point. I hope you liked it. Contact me at jae at onyxreporting.com. Leave a like, subscribe, do all the things. I'll catch you guys later.